In this video, we're going to explain in great detail how to install this. And by the end, you'll have no problem wiring up your new lights or any other 12 volt accessory using one of these pre-made wiring harnesses. This video is brought to you by More Expo. Find out more about More Expo on their website. If you're not familiar with 12 volt wiring and how to make it safe so your vehicle doesn't burn to the ground, a harness like this is well worth it. And it takes far less time to install than creating a custom harness. It has all the appropriate connections, gauge wire, and the switch to withstand the amount of amperage going through it. This one came with the lights we got from Oxbeam. We put links in the video description for this and the lights we chose to install. We also put direct links at the end of this video to videos we've done on other wiring options. We'll start by mounting the relay under the hood near the starter battery. A relay is a remote switch that will be turned on by the switch we'll be putting in the cab. The reason that we need a relay is because our new lights draw more amperage than most dash switches can handle. Putting too much power through can cause a meltdown or it can go up in flames. Now you've got two options here. Either find an existing bolt somewhere along the fender well here or drill a hole for a self-tapping screw. Now sometimes the kit comes with that self-tapping screw. If yours didn't, you'll need to make a trip to the hardware store and don't forget the appropriate size drill bit for the starter hole. Coming off your relay, you'll find a short black wire, usually with a terminal already crimped on it. This is the ground. What I'm going to do is make that ground connection by simply taking that self-tapping screw, putting it through the hole and that terminal on the ground wire, just like that. There's also a red wire with one of these, an inline fuse. This goes to the positive terminal on your battery. If your harness doesn't have a fuse on this wire, don't use it or splice in your own. Now you absolutely have to have a fuse on this red wire going to the positive terminal on your battery. Even if you screw up and you wire something wrong, this will protect it. This fuse will blow as soon as you turn the switch on. And this will prevent a catastrophic meltdown or worse, a fire. Before I go any further, I'm going to remove this fuse and put it back in after all the connections are made. This part of our harness goes out to our new lights. It consists of a red and black wire normally encased in a shield like this with terminals on the end. Now, a lot of times if the harness comes with the new lights, they typically have matching terminals on the ends going out to the lights. Unfortunately, our lights came with no terminals at all on them. So we'll have to put some on. This is very easily done. Just make a trip down to the hardware store and buy yourself some terminals. In our case, we needed the male side of a spade type connector. When buying these terminals, you'll need to know what gauge wire they're going on. Uh, typically, it'll say it right on the wire itself. If it doesn't, just take this whole light assembly into the hardware store with you, find the oldest, orneriest old curmudgeon that works there, and he will get you the right terminals. This is called shrink tubing. We're gonna use it to help seal out the moisture and protect these connections. Just make sure that it's sized to fit over the end of that connector. Just remember to put the shrink tubing on the wires before putting the connector on. Now to put the terminals on the ends of the wires, you're gonna need a crimping tool. And these can be picked up for really cheap. I prefer a ratcheting type like this one. Uh, quite a bit more expensive, but I think they do a better job. And give it a pull, make sure it's in there good. I'm gonna slide the shrink tubing up. And we just shrink that tubing 
run the connection and wire with a heat gun or a really hot hair dryer. A handy tip, these connections are gonna be out in the weather. To help them stay healthy, put some dielectric grease on them. This will help keep out the moisture. Next up is the dash switch. To run your wires to the switch on the dash, typically there's a rubber grommet on the firewall right back here that has a factory wiring harness already going through it. Take something sharp and poke a little hole in that, then pass your wires through that into underneath the dash. There's a few ways the harness you have can be configured. The easiest way is to have two wires going to the switch. Through one wire is a small amount of power coming off the power in terminal on the relay. It goes to the switch. When the switch is on, that power comes out through the other wire, back to the relay, and turns on its internal switch. The harness we have actually has three wires. One is a ground wire for powering the tiny on-off light on our switch. Another type, instead of getting its power from the battery itself or from the relay, the switch gets its power from the fuse box under the dash. These are less common and frankly should be avoided because of the extra time and parts needed. But if that's the type you have, you'll need to get one of these. It's called add a circuit. Connect it to the bare wire coming out of the switch using a butt connector like this. Pick a spot in the fuse box that has power to it all the time or only comes on when the key is turned on. Your choice. Take out that existing fuse, then put this add a circuit in that position in the fuse box. Then take that fuse you took out and put it in this position on the add a circuit. Then put in a low amp fuse in the other slot going out to the switch. The switch that came with our harness is okay, and with the adhesive on the back, it makes it super easy to put it virtually anywhere. Or you can easily wire in your own switch. Most modern vehicles have blanks on the dash where there would be a switch for an option it didn't come with. There are aftermarket switches made to fit in these slots looking like a factory switch. Or you can just use a simple toggle switch. We have our wires going out to the front of the vehicle and plugged into our new lights. We've got the switch on our dash and all ready to go. Now we can put this fuse back into the positive cable going to our battery. All right, let's try them out. And it takes far less time to to withstand the blah, 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 blah. draw more amperage than most dash dish. Most modern vehicles have a blunt have blah, blah, blah. for a switch mm -hmm. for a switch for an option that the vehicle didn't come with. 